Okay. All right. So this is the uh, G1, July 15th through August 13th at Sumo Hall. And uh, 32 wrestlers are in the G1 this year. No Tom Lawler. No Tom Lawler. No yeah, Tom one Lawler. Yeah, one, one of the few guys out. I mean, um, no Juice well, Ju and Jay White are now in AEW. The only AEW guy is Eddie Kingston. And that's going to be tough because he's just coming off a her hernia surgery. That's um, That's pushing it. We have got uh, Okada, Naito, Sonata, Will Ospreay, Tanahashi, David Finley, Shota Umino, Shingo, Ishii, Tamatanga, Tangaloa, Hikaleo, Goto, Yoshihashi, Toriyano, Kenta. Who is he to fight world heavyweight champion as of last night? How's that? Beat Nick Wayne. Good match. Good match. And man, those people, like, uh, you know, Kenta. Kenta knows how to work heel. Well, Nick's a baby face, and you know Kenta's. You know he's he's supposed to be the heel, but man, he's he's, he's, he's Kenta, dude. And they were he's, so he's, into he's, this guy. He's a, he's a su the thing, he's a superstar. Well, he's a superstar, oh. and he's got an aura, yeah, about him. Yeah. And uh, he's in there just beating the hell out of this poor guy. And you know the people are totally Nick Kenta. And you know even though Nick is starting with Defy next month. You mean starting at AEW? AEW. Yeah, like the July fact 12 of the or matter something. is that like AEW guys are you know Swerve is in Defy regularly, so he didn't have to lose a title here. And the impression I got watching this match is everybody thought Kenta was a guy who was brought in to put Nick over, and you know when he when he hit that low, he hit a low blow, he hit a belt shot behind the ref's back, and then he hit him with the GTS right in the middle of the ring. There's nobody around, and you could just hear the crowd was like. Oh, my God, what? And he makes a cover, and he got the pin, and this place exploded. And there's Kenta Chance, and they're going nuts because, A, they saw a title change, and, B, like, Kenta's going to be a regular till he loses that title. Yeah, yeah, that means he's coming back. Yeah, so, man, they were so happy when that thing was over. But, anyway, he's in this tournament. I, I, I think that that makes if, – if, if, if you only have the guy for one show, obviously you can't do that. Sure. But if he's going to come in for a, for, a, for a series of shows, you might as well do that. Plus, it makes your title look like some. It makes your title look bigger when you got a guy like Kenta, you know, in your um, lineage. And it was a the thing was it was a shocker, yeah. because people weren't expecting it to happen. And what you want every now and then is to do something that people aren't expecting, because then they don't go to the show and just say, ah, well, you know, so and so's not going to win the title here, you know. Yeah. And he he won it. Zach, they're going to put. I wonder who they put over. They put him over. You know, when when he's when it's time for him to lose. I don't know. I guess we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Zack Sabre Jr. is in the uh, tournament. Taichi, Eddie Kingston, Phantasmo, Ren Narita, Evil, Chase Owens, Jeff Cobb. Oh, Chase Owens is back. Okay. The Great Ocon. Yeah, well. We Aaron know. Hanare, Gabriel Kidd, Alex Coglin. I like how the one New Japan name that MGF mentioned at that press conference was the Great Ocon. Yeah, 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 because he's because he's trying to, you know, like of be a course. contrarian. Shane Haste. Mikey Nichols, Yoda mm. Suji, and uh, Kato Kiyomiya is in this. Yeah. So, uh, I wonder if he ends up in Okada's block. I think he may uh, get a big win here, potentially. I guess we'll see. Well, he's got to get some wins because Noah's, you know, Noah's like young superstar. I mean, um, he's got, I mean, I think politically he's got to get a couple of big wins in the tournament um, and maybe go. Uh, you know, I always like it when they bring in the the outsider guy like that, like Kiyomi in these tournaments. It makes it a lot more interesting. I mean, his matches will probably be some of the most, you know, some of the more heated and looked forward to of the whole thing. I guess now I have to wait to see how the blocks. I guess it's going to be four blocks to eight, most likely. So everyone's going to do seven matches. And, you know, there's there'll be some great ones. And, um, you know, you can see there's going to be, you know, some matches that aren't going to be so great um, in, out of this. But mostly, you know, I mean, G1's usually, you get the best collection of big matches in of the year, you know, in a short period of time. And, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of big ones with uh, with this. And it's the seven matches as opposed to nine. It is a little bit better for the wrestlers. Um, and also, um, they get more uh, days off than they used to get in the past because there's 32 and not everyone has to be on every single show, you know, and they don't, they're not necessarily going to do all those tags and everything like they had done, um, you know, in the past, you know, with, with the guys never getting any days off. So, um, we'll have to wait, you know, I mean, they'll probably be announcing, um, 
the, the blocks and the bracketing and the matches, um, you know, uh, what well, would be on the next, you know, the next couple of weeks. So the rest of the show, we've got uh, Francisco Akira and TJP beat Kevin Knight and Kushida to win the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team titles. I heard this match was fantastic. And then we had uh, Clark Connors and Dan Mahoney of the Bullet Mal- Club. Dan Maloney. So, so Dan Maloney was was um, United Empire. So he turned, and, and as is TJP and Francisco Akira. So Dan Maloney turned on the United Empire and attacked those guys with Clark Connors, who's now, you know, Bullet Club, you know, one of Ghetto's young prize students. So um, I could see them getting the belts, but, uh, you know, so it's um you know they're doing some booking and everything they're they're um dan maloney did did well in the tournament and they're uh keeping him alive and clark connors you know is one of their young guys i mean it's it's bullet club is now pretty much um you know a lot of uh a lot of the um american guys you know the guys on the way up are are, are being put in bullet club now to kind of give them that rub of now you're somebody we had uh, Zack Sabre Jr. defending the television title against Jeff Cobb. He won via pinfall on a counter of Tour of the Islands, so he retained the title there. I heard that match was super also. No surprise, the last one was. We had uh, Goto and Yoshihashi ended up beating Aaron Hanari, Great Okan, and Evil and Yujiro. So they are now the IWGP tag team titles and I guess the strong Yeah, yeah, they're both way tag team champions so, as well. So I wonder what's going to happen for Forbidden Door. Because Forbidden Door was going to be uh, um I believe the way everything was 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 clicking and everything was being said, it was gonna be champions champions with FTR and Aussie Open. But, you know, Mark Davis got hurt, so that's out. So I wonder if Goto and Yoshihashi will come in with uh FTR or or something else, uh, which um, they've worked with. F- I, th- I think they've worked with FTR, but yeah, well, they did because uh, they won the titles from FTR. Uh, so, um, you know, and, and Goto and Yoshihashi are, are really, really good. I, I heard this match was not the best, um, but, you know, because of, uh, you know, the House of Torture shenanigans and everything. Afterwards, we had Coglin and Gabriel Kidd. Uh, running out and attacking the champs. They're also Bullet Club. That's an interesting... Yeah, so Coglin's now a heel. And Gabriel Kidd... Gabriel Kidd's a very, very talented wrestler. He's, you know, he's he's battled a lot of issues of late. Um, but it's a way to, you know... They're really getting these guys in the mix, you know. And um, it's... Uh, I don't want to say it's too bad. You know, everyone's got what they want and everything like that. But uh, well, Carl Fredericks... You know, this was he, he was going to be in this spot, and he's uh, I don't know he's in he's in NXT, you know, and may get to WWE, and uh, but he you know he's he's not in this spot that he, that he could have been in. He this this was about the time they were going to pull the trigger on these guys. This plaque, I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, yeah Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh oh, who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, at that. F4W Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh-oh. Hey, uh- what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show! Oh no. Dumb! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man! Ah, no! I love you guys! I love When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, 
you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.